Welcome to Wolf Boy Radio. This is Joe Wolf Boy on WBNN Live Radio. Joe Wolfboy. Um, today, um, I already told the people who are listening live, um, today, if you are listening live, or tomorrow, if you are listening to the recording, um, anyway, um, today we're going to be talking about, um, Transformers. Um, and the big topic, um, I know has been the toys being cancelled in America. And they've been... Apparently they were told, um... All the stores were told, um... Sell your last batches and that's all we're gonna give you. And... Uh, I think that it's rather stupid. Um... Because... Being a fan of Transformers myself... Um... I've already bought two, but I bought the uh, first edition of Optimus Prime and the first edition of RC. Um, and I bought these before the recall, well, the stop. Um, it was a long time ago. It was, um, I think it was right after Christmas was when it was. Um, but, sorry about the clinking around. Um, but basically, sorry about that, um, basically, um, what is, what they're trying to do is make it so that, um, there will be no, um, Toys except for the ones that have already been put out um, by Hasbro in America. Um, the two that I had, um, that I have, um, is the Optimus Prime from the um, San Diego uh, Comic Con. And I wasn't even there, but I bought everything off of Amazon. Um, I was short by 47 cents. Um, and that really ticked me off. Um, but... Um, we're, like I was telling the people, um, if you're viewing this recording, um, like I was telling the people that, uh, are on the live broadcast, um, I told everyone in the live broadcast room that they're, everyone is lucky to be even getting this today. Um, I had problems with my lame encoder. Um, and I couldn't broadcast correctly for whatever reason. Um, but basically, Basically, the deal is, um, that, uh, you can buy toys, um, but let me go to, um, 
recent. Um, the hunt begins. <laughs> um, I don't care about Greek yogurt. Um, what I care about is this link at the front. Um, you can pre-order, um, new Prime Toys. Apparently at this, um, place, um, called BigBadToysStore.com. And, basically, it has all of the Japanese versions of it. But these things are through the roof, um, with prices, um, like, uh, the AM01 Optimus Prime by Takara, um, it's $60, um, and that's the, I think the new one, um, the AM, uh, the second version of Bumblebee, I think, um, is only $40, Cliff Jumper is $40, Ratchet is $40, Megatron, which this is surprising, he's $40 when Optimus is $60. Um, Skywarp, which we've never actually seen, so I'm hoping that we'll get to see this character, is $40. Starscream is $60. Um, Terracon Cliffjumper is $40. But you get the point. It's basically... Anywhere from 40 to $60, plus shipping and handling. So, if you're going to put out that much money, um, you can actually buy the crap on eBay or um, Amazon cheaper. Um, and, um, I mean, even the Decepticon Viacon is $40. And, you know, they're not really important in the storyline. Um, but, um, and a lot of these, um, because they're pre-order, they, they actually, some of these you can't order anymore because so many people want them. Because in America, like I said, you can't buy these anymore. So, the main problem now is everyone's going to rush to the store and say, well, do you have this, do you have this, do you have this? And all the stores are going to run out of stock before Hasbro expects them to. But I think that Hasbro is going to change their mind real quick once they see um, all the revolt and everything that um, all the people are going to um, tell them and ask them. I mean... I'm sure that there's going to be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that go in and say, you know what, Hasbro, it's just, you can't do this. And, I mean, I would. I would, actually. Um, but, um, there are a lot of new things. Um, actually, um, Robots in Disguise Deluxe Series, they run for $15, my bad. Um, but if you want a case of eight, it runs for $110. Um, set of four runs for uh, $60, $70. And um, they have a bunch of different ones, but they don't really have pictures. They just have the Transformers Prime logo. Um, but yeah, the link is in the description for the Transformers Prime's toys. Um, I'm not getting paid to say this, but for these prices, and having to get them from Japan, China, um, it, it is, um, this is probably the best price, really. Because you go out and you go to eBay and you find one. But it might be damaged in some way. It might still be in the box, yeah. But there are other chances that it's not. 
there's a higher chance that it's not and that it's been opened, it's been used, and possibly some parts have been scratched or broken. But if you're a collector, and um, I know that some who, who will watch this um, recording once it goes up on YouTube, um, I know a lot of people that are collectors, they don't want to have it out of the box. They actually freak if it's out of the box. Um, me, personally, I don't care. Um, it's a toy. I'm a younger kid who wants to play with his toys. Um, uh, RC first uh, edition was amazing. Um, I don't think I've posted that video yet. Um, look for that video soon if you're uh, following my YouTube channel. Um, so, uh, standard... How... how um, this big bad toy store uh, how they separate the different categories is collector grade collectors grade um, is brand new in mint condition and is sealed inside mint uh, package um, packages uh, verified to be C9 or better um, if you upgrade to the two dollar uh two dollars more uh for all the products um their warehouse will uh choose um what's mint what's not so you'll get a product that's c nine or better um collector grade items are meant to be displayed in their packaging like i said I really don't care if it's in it's packaging um but um Standard grade, um, if you don't want to add $2 to your current bill, and I know a lot of people, like me, will not want to, um, once you see the prices, like, you know, a hundred and some dollars. Um, but it's brand new mint condition and sealed inside, inside its packaging. The packaging condition is verified to be C8 or better. And standard grade items are suitable uh, to be in in on display or in the packaging. I mean, in the packaging on display or um, to be opened. Um, you know, and that and this is just for the normal user. If you don't want to go out and make and spend like three million dollars on a toy, um, on one toy. <laughs> And you're going to just leave it sit in the box for three years. Well, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Um, or uh, I'm sure that there's a lot of people that would want this. Um, this stuff. But it's it's irritating because um, unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff that uh, costs a lot um, in here. Um, okay, um, they even have the, uh, they have all the way back from the original Transformers series. So, you know, like I said, it's not really that big a, a difference to me, um, of what it is, so, um, um, but, um, SSJ Autobot is an amazing guy, um, people, they're amazing people, um, that sound a lot less creepy, um, but they are, uh, they are amazing. Um, in fact, this podcast is based off of their podcast, so their link is in the description. Um, other than that, there's not really much to say. So I want to thank everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.